Today I'm going to work on a system in my hoop house that's unheated that should allow me to grow year round. If you like herbal tea blends, I highly recommend my blue tea, which is butterfly pea flower, lavender, and lemon balm. It's delicious. It can help reduce inflammation and just all around a good herbal tea. And if you like caffeine, try out my new green tea blend. That gets me a bit excited because, well, I can just go ahead and plant in there again then. The few spots that didn't fully grow in. Um, and then over here, I just need to start, I need to f get this prepped by uh, closing off the plastic and whatever. But I should be able to run, you know, the same system inside here. I just watered and then turned the soil anywhere that there's not... Uh, vegetation or plants coming up right now and that way I can plant some more. I have a lot of potatoes on this side and they're getting so large that they're kind of falling away. This was all green because they were standing up you know uh, but in these areas I want to throw some soil down and just kind of backfill over where the potatoes are growing in hopes of you know yielding more potato. I realized I just don't think it'd be that much of a difference if I just put the layer over the frame because I'll still have, you know, four or six inches of space between this layer and the, the plastic layer. And so we're still getting two, two layers, which should allow me to grow as long as I have the whole thing covered. I think it'll do fine and it'll make it much easier to get in and out. I'm going to monitor the temperature in here over the next few days and see what it's like in the morning. And uh, and then I've got, of course, I've got to go ahead and plant these areas that don't have any uh, plants coming up. These are from the most recent crop, though, and got a lot, a lot of little seedlings coming up. There's some over here and throughout the entire garden. There's just little spaces that have uh, little seedlings coming up. I would imagine the amount of plastic that's in there now will make up the difference in heat until it gets into about the 50s. So, you know, if I've got a week that's like 55, 50 at the, the high, then I'll go ahead and drop the plastic because then it's not going to get warmer than 80 degrees in there. I've been in here this morning putting up plastic to prepare for winter. And I think yesterday I posted about this fruit, so a pumpkin coming in right here and today as I was moving the plastic down I spotted this other one in the back here so we've got two pumpkins coming in so far these other plants throughout the hoop house such as these ones this little guy and these are most likely all some kind of a winter squash I just planted spinach and broccoli throughout this side of the hoop house where there were not plants already and on this side I filled in the extra space mostly with carrots. I have rabbit cages over here the manure falls down below and I move it over and as it rains I continually turn 
the compost. This is my oldest rabbit manure pile right here. I'm just gonna grab some of this and throw it into the wheelbarrow and I'll take it into the hoop house where I can backfill over the potatoes where they've been starting to grow. Rabbit manure is extremely high in nitrogen and it's actually safe to put in your garden pretty well right away as opposed to like chicken manure which it needs to sit for a couple months to really break down and be safe and and even if you make a a liquid fertilizer with chicken manure it needs to sit for a week and ferment this is why there are two doors <laughs> I can easily roll my wheelbarrow in there when I need to. I have a lot of potatoes in here and it's kind of deceiving where they're actually at because you know the vines lean and grow um, quite a ways in different directions and uh, let's see oh and the the pumpkin is reaching clear over here and holding on to them so it's going to be kind of difficult but I'm going to get into these little spaces like this and dump some more um, especially over like this potato. I was able to fill my way around to the base of most of these potatoes, well all of them, and then including the pumpkins. So anywhere that I found the base of a potato and even the pumpkin, I went ahead and added a pile of really good soil um, mixed, you know, rabbit manure. So, and then of course we've got all the other planted areas and I would imagine before you know it, we won't have any space left to grow in here. The hoop house is about as set up as I can get it for now. Um, with this open, the temperature's regulated pretty good for now. And I'll continue to wrap it as it gets colder. I think this plastic will work pretty good because it is away from the plants not going to sit right on top of it which would cause problems if it was you know there was condensation and then it froze <clears throat> there's uh i mean this hoop house is fairly weathered so there's plenty of vent ventilation you know air is coming in and out exchanging it's just a lot warmer in here than it would be without the plastic i'm confident that i'll be able to grow way into the winter and i'm excited to find out how far Maybe I'll get all the way through. Part of what helps make this system work over in the hoop house is that the ground is covered. For instance, there's got to be at least six inches to a foot of manure down here. And it would be a mixture of goat and rabbit manure. Now, this is different from my hoop house because this is a geothermal. I dug out... I went six feet down and then I backfilled on top of this. This is 200 linear feet of hose. I backfilled a couple feet of dirt and then I've added, you know, all of this manure on top. And I imagine that that'll continue for a little while. Um, however, I have an inline fan that pulls air from the top of the unit down through 200 linear feet of this corrugated tubing, which has much more surface area than a regular tube and it really cools the air down on average it was 15 degrees cooler all summer and last winter I was experiencing as I was I'm kind of experimenting because it, it wasn't all the way set up but it appeared that I was maintaining about 15 degrees warmer so my constant worry was hey 15 degrees warmer is great but what about when it gets to be you know 10 degrees outside and I can only get it to be 25 in here that's just a little too cold below freezing and I've been concerned about that soon so during the summer I needed to have a lot of ventilation and soon I'm going to seal that off there's a large hole there the the screen all that is open I'm going to close all that off I have to do the the same on the front side here I'm going to close all that off as as time goes on i'll probably leave the door open for now i have to see how the temperature is because it's still in the 70s i don't want to get too hot 
but I'm thinking my plan in here will be to run. I might use a bunch of these lines and tie them together and run them across to the PVC. And then I can get, you know, I have 12 foot by 50 foot plastic. So I could just go up, over, and down. And, and then I'll have a second layer of protection in here. I'm feeling pretty confident. I just need to level the soil in here. Like I said, this is a lot of manure. I should just kind of level this out, get all of, I want to take the shelving out and all the tools and stuff out over to the shed. And then I can make, um, you know, a 30 inch row on this side, on that side, and maybe at the end there, at, at least get, you know, as much area as I can. And I have to figure how I'm going to water it. Um, I, I might just hook a garden hose up over here. I had drip irrigation. But it's like, I don't know. In the hoop house, it's been really easy to just water with the hose. And it's not it's still not taking absorbent amounts of water. And as a beginning gardener, I notice for me, if I get to check the soil and make sure how moist it is and then water it, it seems to help me too because the drip irrigation was great for most stuff, but some things died because it was over watering. I feel like I can get the geothermal going now and it's going to be really cool to see how the hoop house performs and how the geothermal performs this winter because one of them, the geothermal, <laughs> is going to be warmer and uh, so I'll obviously, I mean the odds are I'll be able to grow different things uh, in the geothermal. I'm starting to think already that I might like to build some DIY versions of this hoop house. See how I've got a chicken coop, the rabbit run, and a walkway, and this? I could equally space three of these hoop houses on this side of the composting bin. So I got a, a hoop house there, one in the middle, and one on the end, and, and start to expand my growing and build another rain harvesting system when I can. Between having the heavy layer of manure down here, which will produce heat throughout the winter, and the extra insulation from the plastic, we should definitely be able to grow far into the winter, and I'm excited to find out how far. Do any of you know what this is? I've never seen anything like it. Make it a little more clear. Isn't that bizarre? Is that some sort of a huge queen ant? 